So Warren Sharp put these interesting uh, offensive line rankings out recently, just a couple days ago, and I want to talk about it because I feel like the Raiders' offensive line is continuously still being disrespected. Uh, Sharp said the Raiders have the 15th best offensive line in the NFL, but at the same time today, the Madden rankings dropped for individual offensive linemen, and the Raiders got disrespected across the board in my opinion, right? At least with the starting five especially. Uh, Court Miller, 87 overall. Jermaine Illuminora, 74. Dylan Parham, 73. Andrew James, 72. Madden is obviously assuming that Tane Moody is going to start. He's a 71 overall. Let's talk about this. You know, uh, it's kind of interesting when you think about it because I think Colton Miller is one of the better offensive linemen in the NFL, right? I, I think his ranking should be higher, right? I think he's like a 91 to 93 minimum. Jermaine Illuminor uh, finished last season at a 76 overall. So somehow from the end of last year to the start of this year, EA Sports apparently thinks Jermaine Illuminor got worse when he had a fantastic season last year. 76. Like, Jermaine Illuminor should be like an 81 minimum, right? Dylan Parham was an all-rookie offensive lineman last season, which means he was voted as the best rookie left guard last season. That's over guys like Cole Strange. It's over guys like us. Uh, I believe Zion Johnson may have been the right guard choice, but you know, even Tyler Smith started a lot at left guard last year. So Dylan Parham was ranked better than all those guys. You know what doesn't make sense is how Dylan Parham is a 73 overall. Honor James is a 72. But a guy who didn't even play and really hasn't historically play, played is only one or two overalls worse than our two starters who ranked Apparently on the, you know, our, our offensive linemen, these two guys that started, apparently were the 15th best offensive line. You know, it doesn't make sense why the Raiders offensive line continues to get disrespected. And I guess it actually makes sense. You know, some of our own bands disrespect the Raiders offensive line. Some of the Raiders own, uh, you know, members of the Raider Nation continuously say that the offensive line sucked last year. And I get it. A lot of people that say that are, are trying to push the narrative that Josh Jacobs carried an offensive line, right? Josh Jacobs is why the Raiders had success, although it doesn't work like that in the NFL. And we've seen this hundreds of times, right? Philip Lindsay, a UDFA, a guy who's a very average player, had thousand yard back to back seasons in the NFL because his offensive line carried him. Saquon Barkley was that next generational running back and he's had a shitty ass NFL career because his offensive line has sucked every single year up until this past season. They're a very good offensive line and he just happened to have the most success in his entire career this past season. We've seen this happen over and over and over again when an offensive line or a run scheme is not good. Doesn't matter the caliber running back. They're not going to have success. At the same time, you can look at the Eagles who have a great offensive line. Right, You can plug any running back you want in there. They're going to have success. And we've seen it for the last six to seven years. All the different running backs that have came in and out of that system. Right, They average 5.3 yards per attempt with the Eagles. They go to another team. Don't even average four yards per attempt. Right, An offensive line makes a running back. Not the other way around. Even when it gets to a quarterback. An offensive line has a massive impact on a quarterback's ability to have success. You know... The Raiders did a great, great job years back when they started investing in Rodney Hudson. They got Clutchy Assembly. They drafted Gabe Jackson. They went out and got all these guys to protect Derek Carr. And that was a smart investment because what we saw happen when we got rid of Hudson, we got rid of Clutchy Assembly, we had a Brandon Parker and Colton Miller, two rookies starting at tackles, and we restarted this build for the Las Vegas Raiders. We saw Derek Carr's play kind of struggle with that a little bit, right? Derek Carr started struggling as his pass protection got a little bit worse. You can look around the league. You know, Patrick Mahomes uh, got to a Super Bowl, but his offense lineman got hurt. And they're already not that good to begin with. And they got destroyed by a Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensive line. And offensive line's important. And last year, the Raiders offensive line helped us have success. You know, let's just be honest. We had the ball in five games where we lost the game, right? And our offensive line was a big reason why we had that opportunity to possibly go down and score. And we still won six games last year, right? And we could have easily won up to 11 games had we just had a little bit more success and consistency on the offensive side. 
I think the Raiders offensive line is, is continuously disrespected and honestly, I'm tired of it. I think the Raiders offensive line deserves more credit. We deserve, we deserve more recognition. All right. And Warren Sharp did rank us as the 15th best offensive line. And I do want to give him a shout out for that because if you listen to some Raider fans, they would have you believing the Raiders have a bottom five offensive line. Although, you know, the rankings have the Raiders as a, a top half. Um, even the stats, you look at, uh, ESPN's, uh, pass block and run block win percentage. It has the Raiders as a top 15 offensive line. So it's not like the Raiders offensive line is being ranked low when it comes to actual stats, actual people who analyze tape. And I'll be the first to tell you guys. Now, obviously I'm a little biased, but I watch all the offensive lines around the NFL, right? And like I said, I'm a little bit biased, right? Um, I think that Warren Sharp's ranking is making one massive mistake, which is the Seattle Seahawks are not number 25. They are a top 10 offensive line. And to me, that is fact. There's no argument around it. They have two superstar tackles. They have a superstar left guard. They just got their future center in the draft this past year. Um, and their right guard's not that bad either. So I think the Seattle Seahawks are top 10. I think Warren Sharp will update that some point this season. But a lot of these offensive line rankings, I could agree with, right? Um, not sure if the Packers and Broncos deserve their rankings. I'd probably bump the Raiders up ahead of them. But you can tell Warren Sharp watches tape. You know, you get the Eagles, the Lions, you get the Chiefs in the top. You get the Cowboys, the Vikings, the Chargers in the top. You know that this guy watches tape. But again, the Raiders at 15, the Bears at 16. I think those are great rankings, and it kind of just goes to show that people who watch the tape actually have the Raiders ranked highly, and I think sometimes, especially Raider fans, don't show that respect, and it's interesting because, of course, as we mentioned, EA Sports didn't show that respect to the Las Vegas Raiders offensive line. Will these guys' rankings actually get higher as the season kind of goes along? I think it will. We'll see what ends up happening. What do you guys think about the Raiders offensive line? Do you guys think it's a good unit, or does it suck is it a bottom five unit because we have the same unit from last year going into this year and a lot of expectations on this season so let me know what you guys think thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys next time with another video